We are back one final time. This is Warrior Time Lightforge Podcast Arena card review for Murder at Castle Nathria. This set is here. There are broken hunter cards. Are there broken warrior cards? The answer is no, there are no broken warrior cards, uh, but there are good warrior cards. And one of the ones is what we're going to talk about next. This is a common weapon. Whenever warriors get a good common weapon and it has a boosted offering rate, you know it's going to be uh, impactful. It is Imbued Axe. Three mana, two, three weapon. After your hero attacks, give your damage minions plus one, plus one. Infuse three, plus two, plus two instead. So, uh, yeah. Three mana, two three is already not a terrible weapon. And uh, having, giving your buffing your board, that is, that is really good. It's even set up so that you have a time to play one drop and two drop and get them injured before you play the imbued axe. Good. Okay, so this is rated at A, by the way. It's a, it's a premium warrior weapon. Um, it's not like super tempo uh, on curve the way uh, some warrior weapons are. But you play it a little later than that if you don't have the setup. Uh, and when you do play it, you get a lot of tempo for a lot of turns. Yeah, you can manipulate this in ways. Like, you're, you're able to do it. Once again, Infuse 3, not that hard. I'm buying Infuse stock, right? Uh, and you really don't need that many buffs. So it's just a really solid card. Yep. Okay. Uh, next up is Anima Extractor. Two mana, one four. Whenever a friendly minion takes damage, give a random minion in your hand a plus one, plus one. So this is a B tier card. For two mana, one four, that's pretty good because two mana, one fours are like low D tier. They are very bad. But the buffs onto random minions in your hand, that's going to happen quite frequently. Even if you just play this as a 2-drop, not a lot of things are going to remove it without taking damage twice, which gives two buffs into your hand of plus one, plus one. And that's if you have no other friendly minions. If you have like other friendly minions because you're playing this later on in the game, like 2-drops are generally crappy later on, uh, you could potentially get a lot of buffs on your hand. Uh, yeah, because you could just have stuff onto the board that you were going to trade with, and then you play this, and then immediately get the buffs, right? Which is a lot more than what you should be expecting for two mana uh, in, the, in the late game. Yep. Uh, so, okay, that's Animal Extractor. Uh, the last common card for Warrior is Crazed Wrench. Crazed Wrench is... A two mana one four again. Uh, it has plus two attack and charge while damaged. It's a C tier card. It's not. Yeah, it's like it's not terrible, but the charge. So you gotta like proc it. Uh, if you damage it and it just has like two attack, that's nice. We've seen some more cards, right? Like the enrage mechanic and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, what is it, uh, uh, Amani? It's like Amani. Amani's a 2-3. A this is a 1-4, so it's much more easy to enrage on curve. Um, and uh, that, makes it, uh, that makes it decent, even though it's a 1-4, and 1-4s generally suck. Okay. All right, we are on to rare cards now. Rare cards. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is Conqueror's Banner. Conqueror's Banner is a D-tier spell for Warrior. Two mana, reveal a card from each player's deck three times. Draw any of yours that cost more. Just a, just a math problem of how many cards you're drawing, and you're, you're not drawing that many. So, it's a D-tier card. Remember, yours have, has to cost more. more. So, it's the Joust problem, yes. right? In which ties means loss. Yours has to cost more. Now, what the beauty of this card is that this is going to tilt the shit out of so many people. 
your favorite streamer, whoever that might be, they're probably going to get pissed, okay? Because they're probably going to get this from some random spell generation. And not only are they going to get zero cards, they're going to see all the amazing <laughs> big cards that the other person has before they, of course, immediately top deck it. So Blizzard built the ultimate tilt card. This, mm -hmm. is, this is just the ultimate tilt card, and you are going to hate this. Uh, so it's beautiful in some ways. Like the design wise, it was almost made to tilt people. Um, so I think it's fantastic. Okay. It's a D tier card. Please don't pick it. Unless you absolutely have to. Uh, next one is a suspicious pirate. Suspicious pirate is a three mana, three, four pirate. Pretty good so far. Battle cry, discover a weapon. If your opponent guesses your choice, they get a copy. So part of the same series as uh, a lot of the other cards. But uh, this one is a B plus and not an A uh, because while three mana, three fours are good, discovering weapons are good. You are a warrior. Your weapons may run into other weapons while your opponent may really, really want a weapon. Yeah. All right. We just, I mean, this is like another version of these things that we see, right? Mm -hmm. um, where it's like, do you pick the best card? Do you pick the second best card? I don't know. You can try these mind games. Like, they won't, your, the important thing is your opponent won't always be able to guess what it is. And then on average, you are getting, you know, you always get something. Sometimes they get something. Yep. That's it. Um, finally, the last rare card uh, in Warrior is its location. The last location, and it is not good. It is one mana, three charges, Sanguine Death. Deal one damage to a minion and give it plus one attack. So you can either use it to ping, or you can use it to deal an extra, to give your minion an extra attack at the cost of a life. Very slow for the ping, though. One mana for a ping this turn, a ping in for two turns, and then a ping in four turns after that. Fantastic. Okay, on to the next one. Um, so this is a D+, plus, which means it's around where, like, a Yeti is, or, like, a three mana, three, four, or something. It's uh, definitely playable and pickable, but you shouldn't get too excited about it. Um, yeah, it does enable a lot of the war uh, warrior combos, though. And being D plus is not the end of the world, so you're going to end up picking it here and there. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Oops. so people are mentioning, it's like, oh, it's a ping for a non-ping class. Yeah, but remember, once you use it, you also can't use it for the next turn. Yeah, um, so very like slow three really pings. Really slow one pings. Mana. Yeah, really slow pings. And you really like, for one mana, you should be getting like two pings. And the, here you get three pings, but it's like... Very slow. Yep. All right. Epic cards are next. First epic card is Riot. Riot is a two mana spell. Your minions can't be reduced below one health this turn. They each attack a random enemy minion. Um... We had a card back in the day that was pretty good. I forgot what it was called, but it was two mana, same ability, except instead of attacking a random enemy, enemy minion, you draw a card. Uh, Commanding Shout, that's right, Star Performer. Commanding Shout had the same ability, so we all knew what the ability did. And it was okay, um, but it drew a card. Here, instead of drawing a card, they each attack a random enemy. And that is the key word. The RNG here will kill you unless they have only one target. So it's kind of difficult to set up. It's vaguely a board clear with some costs, but you have to have the setup. Uh, you can give any minions you play on this turn rush, but they attack a random enemy minion. So you don't know the order and you don't know what they're attacking and which order they're attacking. So there's going to be a lot of wasted damage. And it's not like your minions are immune. 
If your minions are over one health, they're still going to get damaged. They just can't get, you know, actually die and go below one health. So this one's a D. It is an extremely hard to use card. Yeah, that's you, you good. That's it. I'm good. All right, uh, and yes, Chad is uh, asking if you still have the attack. Yes, the the whatever minions retains their original attacks. This is just an extra attack that it gets. And because nothing's going to die on this turn, your minis are guaranteed to get the second attack as a follow-up if, uh, if the RNG kind of like goes against you. Uh, finally, we have Burden of Pride. Four mana spell, epic. Summon three one three Jailers with Taunt. If you have 20 or less health, give them plus one, plus one. So step one... Definitely have 20 or less health. Do not yeah, have more yeah. than 20 health because 3 1 3 Jailers of Taunt is a desperation, let's not die play. And if you're trying to make a let's not die play, why are you doing it with more than 20 health? So if you have over 20 health though, this is 4 mana for 3 2 4s, which is very good because they all have taunt. That is an insane amount of taunt. That's a lot. And it's not too hard to get under 20 health as a mm -hmm. warrior. It shouldn't be. Yeah. Because you have weapons. You can hurt yourself. Yeah. People are mentioning Reign of Toads. Yeah, that's a good comparison. Reign of Toads was a fine card. Mm -hmm. I think fine is a fine word for it. Um, that was very annoying, right? Yep. And look, uh, the power level is obviously different, but this is two mana cheaper. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's quite a lot better. Yep. So, so that one is a A tier card, by the way. An A tier card. Mm -hmm. This is a premium card. Mostly for the taunt. Um, okay. So, uh, we are now on to legendaries. Let's go with the A tier legendary first. Uh, Decimator Ogra is A tier. It is a 6 mana 3 7. Battlecry gain plus 1 plus 1 for each damage minion, then attack all enemies. So, what do all you mean? All enemies, so it goes face. Yeah, well, it could go face if it's not dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it depends on what's happening. But the gain plus one plus one for each damage minion is huge. That includes their minions, that includes your minions, and you're starting at a 3-7 base. So if it just gets, like, one more stat, then it's kind of good. Um, if it gets uh, it gets two damage minions, then you're at a 5-9 with uh, effectively rush slash charge. You and just don't get theory. to direct it, but yeah, yeah it's fine. Um, so this is an A tier minion. It's it's very big, and if your opponent is really decimating you, like they're gonna have some injured minions. And if mm -hmm. it's a regular firefight, you're gonna have some uh, some uh, damage minions, and it's just going to be potentially really big and be a semi board clear and leave a body. Like it has very large upside, and the downside is is pretty low. I agree. Um. All right. Oh, sorry. I got the score wrong. Decimator Ogre is a C plus. Would you say it was originally? I said it was an A, but A is the, the other one, the, the insane legendary we're going to talk about next. That's okay, the weapon. Yeah. So this is a C plus. Jabated. Jabated. Uh, uh, for each damage minion, attack all enemies. I guess there's not that much damage minions compared to what you would think. Just go on to the four, good one. If it's, go, if it's a 4 8, then it's essentially. Uh, it's almost a 6 6. Because the, the. So the problem is it does need to get buffed. Because if it's just dealing 3 damage to enemy minions, it's, uh, it, it's just not a lot of damage, right? You're dealing 3 damage to stuff. Think about. You have a lot of rushes that have come out that it's like Wind Fury or whatever and has 3 damage. Um, and that. Like, it's fine, but it's not anything exciting, and it is 6 mana, so you do need a damage minion, like, at least one to get that 4, and you don't get to direct it. So if there's a large, if there's, like, a single large minion on the board, 
even if there's other stuff, this card is uh, it, it's, it's very iffy um, to be played. But well, you're you're not trying to play this card at that time, right? You're trying to play the card when there's a bunch of smaller stuff, and that runs into the issue where if there's a bunch of smaller stuff, they're less likely to be injured in the first place, right? Because it's harder to have smaller stuff that's injured. So it kind of gets in its own way. All right, that's enough analysis about this one. I'm yeah. gonna say I am just I am done. I, I, I am dead done. too. Okay, last card. Last card's a good one. It's a legendary. This is the A tier legendary card for Warrior, and it is a seven mana. It's Remornia, comma Living Blade. It's a seven mana four ten rush. After this attacks, equip it. So it becomes a weapon with whatever durability that is the health that it has left. And then you equip the weapon. And remember, when you equip the weapon, you can swing with the weapon, assuming you don't have another weapon that you've already swung with. And then after that happens, the weapon that it summons is not just a four whatever weapon. The weapon it summons has an ability as well that says after your hero attacks, return this to the battlefield. So if I'm reading this right, when it returns to the battlefield, it still has rush, right? Yeah. So it gets it, to it, hit three times on the turn it, it comes out. It continues on, yes. It is. Uh, it, it flips back and forth. It's such a creative card. Like, it's, when I first saw this, I was like, damn, that is just cool. Like, that, that's mm -hmm. just a cool thing. Um, and, and there's so much consideration that went into this card. Like, this is a card, you know, we, we were talking about some legendaries that I'm just like, seems super vanilla it just doesn't seem like a legendary in 2022 this seems mm. like a legendary in 2022 yes uh and uh yeah it's an a tier card it's good it's not absurdly insane because you're getting just 12 damage on the turn and if you're using all 12 damage it's likely dead or almost dead like you're gonna have one more charge of the weapon left that you're gonna hit something and then that's it like you're not gonna have anything after that like the next turn so uh, yep. and that's that's in a good scenario right um yeah so it, it is not like this like insane insane s tier card but it is very good seven mana deal 12 damage split three ways however you choose and then have another probably maybe uh four damage weapon left over for they could swing once like that's yep. that's uh those are real things yep uh, so for those who are out there uh, who are like, wait, how is this not S tier? No, like how how good is Flame Strike these days? Yeah, and this is four. Flame Strike is five damage. Yeah, like how how good is Flame Strike these these days? Um, it's like very good, right? But not mm -hmm. like remember S tier is like that's caverns. that's that's for caverns. That's for the the wild seeds, you know, like the, the, that that's for those sort of cards, like. Uh, What's an old card that's coming back that's an S? Arbor Up. Arbor Up is like an S tier card, you know? Mm -hmm. um, all right. So that's it for the card review. Uh, for Warrior, as you can see, there's we have what? We have an Imbued Axe. That's pretty good. That's A tier. We got an Epic card, Burden of Pride. That's A tier. Then we have the Legendary Remornia. That's A tier. Otherwise, you have a B plus tier for the Suspicious Pirate. Which is very good. Um, but you also have a couple of not so good cards like Crazed Wench, which is you know just like okay. Nothing's uh, there's nothing bad, but there's also like not enough here. Like, Warrior always needs a little extra to just to keep up with everybody else. And uh, I don't think it gets the, the extraness here. So it's going to be relying on the older sets to come in uh, and, and help it. This, this is not a particularly good set for, for the Warrior overall. Okay. Is that it? Are we done? Yeah. Yeah, we're done. Let's, let's give the shout out to end it. It's, it's late. It's almost 1 o'clock. It is late. Okay. Uh, so first of all, thank you to all of those people who were here yesterday and today in Twitch chat watching. Uh, we appreciate you guys, okay? Uh, we appreciate you correcting all of our wrong scores, except Dreads, who only knows wrong scores. Um, our mods for helping moderate, first of all, and also organizing 
the giveaways. Uh, thank you to Blizzard for giving us codes to give away. That was very generous, uh, very nice. So thank you. Uh, thanks to all of those watching on YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Um, thank you to, I guess we're giving shout outs to, to pets now as well. So thanks to all of our pets, Iggy, Ginzy, Willow, and Evie. All right. Evie uh, and then, stayed alive after we were gone for three weeks. Evie stayed alive. That's very important. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We did not come home to a dead rabbit, which which was a fear. It was the longest time we've left her alone. And she was fine when she was back. She was all hoppy. She seemed happier than when we were actually around. Uh, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, I want to give a shout out also to David Attenborough Says, who's doing the YouTube. Uh, to Brand New, who is doing the thumbnails, because David Attenborough Says actually is, uh, is, is a half on medical, uh, medical leave. Um, and, uh, to all of our patrons, uh, especially the top patrons, RV Night Train, Yin, Eric L, Dan F, Karova, REG, 4P and Brand New, and, um, yeah, we're probably leaving people out, um, but just thank you, everybody. We, uh, we, we're back now. We're back now. I know we've been gone for, like, three weeks, but besides yesterday and tonight's stream, we are back on streaming. We, there's no extra streams for this expansion launch because I really just need to like stay awake and like you know get my life back in order <laughs> after this long vacation. But on Friday night, the normal stream is back. On Sunday, we're doing uh, normal Light Forge and Coop things, and then hopefully Murps will have his computer back and he'll start picking a day to to stream uh, again after this. Oh, well, fingers crossed. It's already been we sent out. It is in route to Merps, but who knows how long it takes to get delivered. And and hopefully it, it arrives and it, it works. Hopefully. Um, uh, okay. So that's it from us. It's been a long one. It's our first two-night review. Uh, and uh, thank God we split it up, <laughs> actually. Otherwise, I, we, I would not have lasted. I would have ended it. I think we would it. have, for self-preservation purposes, cut it short. Yeah, we would have cut it so. short. Anyways, uh, this is where we end it. Signing off. Thank you. Enjoy the arena. Enjoy playing Hunter. You guys better pick Hunter, okay? All Hunter, like, all If there's all anything the you learned, just pick Hunter. Uh, see you guys in the arena. See you guys.